okay this video is sponsored by graphical studio which makes an application drops in the play store so i'll be providing the link in the description below so go ahead and check it out so if you're wanting to have an extensive collection app for your wallpapers so drops is only there for you drops is a wallpaper for everybody whatever the collection or whatever the occasion maybe you can use this app it uses it's specialized software so to make the app easy for the daunting task of choosing your wallpaper conveniently organizing thousands of quality images into assimilated collection drops presents an effective alternative to scouring the play store or the internet for your preferred type and style of wallpaper so guys this app is pretty much interesting and very much easy to download so you need to just go to the play store and download the application and if you need to set any wallpaper as per your home screen just tap on any picture click on that painting icon or the painting brush or the download icon and it is all set to go so guys definitely check it out okay so overrating issues might be a big problem of all android family so i have introduced some of the fixes which you can really apply on your android devices to get rid of it so this video is all about how to fix overrating issues on android devices so guys it's Nadri from NDHD and without any further ado let's get right into the video Okay, number one solution is using original charger have you ever read the manual that comes with your phone every phone manufacturing company always mentioned that don't use duplicate chargers because it may damage your phone's battery the battery is the main reason why our phone overheats therefore make sure to use the original charger that comes with your phone second thing is that charging phone properly you must always remember to use the original charger and make sure you don't charge your device for too long in the daytime heat. Just charge to 70 or 80% during the day and full charge the device at night. So yes, that's a quite unique habit but you really need to get used to it as you need to really get rid of that overheating issues on your Android device. And number 3 is that check your Wi-Fi. Well, Wi-Fi itself doesn't make your smartphone to overheat. However, it was the apps that get triggered on the background whenever your smartphone connects to a Wi-Fi network. So make sure to check all the background updates whenever your phone connects to a Wi-Fi network in order to avoid overheating issues on your Android device. Fourth solution is that turn off the Bluetooth and GPS. Bluetooth and GPS continuously scan for available network in the background. So if you're running Android games and the Bluetooth GPS feature of your smartphone which is actually enabled then it can cause your phone to overheat. Therefore make sure you turn off the Bluetooth and GPS if you don't need them. Ok next is give your droid a break. Consider the case of a human body. Our body needs rest after lots of work carried out in a day. Same in the case of your smartphone. Have you kept your phone to rest for few seconds? Does your phone remain on continuously and you plug your charger online? It too needs the little time to take rest. Therefore, restarting the device not only makes your Android device to work more efficient, it also extends your battery life. So go ahead and try out this method. Number 6 solution is that do not cover your Android phone. Stop using covers with your smartphone especially in summers because it can be a reason to overheating your smartphone. And why you shouldn't cover your smartphone with the mobile back case? Because the heat which comes after using your smartphone from the back side, it, did, it don't allow to escape from the back end of your smartphone. So try avoiding covers especially in summers. Last thing is that the seventh solution of the fixes of overheating issues on Android is the heavy gaming. Your Android Play Store provides you the variety of entertaining games and applications which are created and discovered every day. Some of the games and applications consume more processing power than others depending on the complexity of the app. And when you combine these two, then they start heating up. Games nowadays not only require high RAM and better processor, it also needs the data connection. That's the another major reason why our phone overheats while playing games. Therefore, if you want to play heavy games on your Android, make sure you have cleared the background task 
and really it can solve your overheating issues while playing games okay guys that's pretty much it for the video i hope you have really enjoyed this video a lot so if you have really liked this video definitely give a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel it's nadri which is from ndhd so without any further delay let's end this video up so till then keep calm and peace out and hope to see you again at friday for the next episode of another news topic so guys peace out